All right, here we go. This is gonna be a 10 millimeter test. Today we do have a couple double tap rounds. So on the left we do have our 125 grain. That is a solid copper hollow point. It's rated at 1600 feet per second. And on the right we do have 135 grain controlled expansion. That one is also rated at 1600 feet per second. So here's that solid copper round. Huge hollow point cavity on that one. Really deep. And our 135. Same thing on that. Not quite as big, but still really wide, deep hollow point cavity on that one. So it says uh, these rated velocities are out of a 5 inch barrel. So we do have our Rock Island Ultra FS. And that is a 5 inch barrel. And we're going to be going through our gel today. That is a 10% block. We do have our jug backstop just in case we get those pass throughs and our four layers of cotton t shirt on the front. So, like always, we'll set our chronograph up so we can hopefully get those impact velocities. We'll see how these rounds do. Here we go. First one up will be that 125 grain. All right, here we go. We're stemming back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. So impact velocity was 1613, so that's actually really good. Normally when we do test that one, we are right over 1600 feet per second. So let's see how we did. All right, it does look like we've got a pretty good leaker, so we at least made it through to that first jug. So let's see how we did. Here's that impact. I don't know if you guys can see that, but is a huge hole you can see right down in that cavity major hole we got some really good stretching on that one really big star pattern so let's check it out from the top so from the top same thing massive damage going all the way through that block it doesn't look like this one settled down at all so major stretch cavity on that i can actually see a few petals already and i don't think we caught this one um, normally when i do test it those all every one of those petals usually shears off and then it's just the uh, core of that round going through there so let's see if we can get a measurement from the top first so on this one we are at two and three quarters from the top so not uh the biggest stretch but definitely not the smallest either so let's see from the side it looks like from the side we got some pretty good damage. Just try to get these jugs out of the way so we can get some better lighting. And yeah, you can definitely tell it came in, opened up immediately, and got some huge damage going all the way through that block. And like I said, this one didn't really settle down at all. It pretty much carried all the way through. You can see a few petals left in there. So let's see if we can get a measurement from the side. So from the side, we are at three inches. So very good stretch cavity on that. Really nice. So we're gonna see if uh, we can find this round. If not, that's okay. We usually uh, aren't able to catch this one, but it's still really cool to see how much damage is actually doing to this gel. So, uh, so what we'll do is we'll set it for that 135 grain and see how that one does. All right, I just wanna give you guys a quick look from the top, just in case uh, this next shot does mess up this uh, the stretch cavity or if it does uh, kind of collide with it but major stretch cavity throughout this whole thing so let's see what that 135 can do all right we're stepping back to 15 feet All right, let's see how we did on that one. So it looks like our impact velocity on that one was 1516. So definitely about 100 feet per second less, but still pretty good for that 135 grain. So let's see how we did. All right, let's check that entry out. Looking pretty good so far. Looks like we got a nice hit on that one. And same thing as that last one, you can see right down in that gel. Did some major damage. 
got a really big uh, star pattern on that one too. So let's check it out from the top. Man, that's crazy. Check that one out. It is the one on the left. Major damage to that gel. And tons of fragments. It looks like that one just came apart too. That is nuts. Let's see if we can uh, get a measurement. And this one is not a leaker. It looks like it did hit the back of this jug or the front of that jug, but didn't make it through. So we'll see if we can find that round. So let's see from the furthest part, we are at almost three and about three and an eighth inches. So just over what that last one was. Um, I'm sure the last one was just as big, but it's kind of hard to tell because it is a little bit sideways. Uh, so once we cut this gel block open, we'll be able to tell a bit more. But man, that is some major damage coming through there. So let's check it out from the side. Oh yeah, you can see right there, it looks like that round ended up right there at the end of that gel. And it looks like it did shed its jacket. So let's check it out from the side. Let's get this little fly out of the way. But uh, from the side, you can kind of tell, not as much uh, as the top, but it still looks like we got quite a bit of damage coming in. You can definitely see uh, all those petals that it left behind. And this one carried through the whole way. It's about that last inch and then it did start to settle down just a little bit, but let's see what kind of stretch we got from the side. So it looks like we are at two and a quarter inches. So definitely not the biggest from the side. It's mainly from the top where you can see that huge stretch cavity, but that is a ton of damage. So we'll check it out one more time from the top and then we'll see what those rounds look like. All right, so here it is from the top one more time. The one on the right was that solid copper hollow point. One on the left was the controlled expansion. And man, those things are tearing this gel up. Got some major damage on both of them. So here is that 125 grain. Came in, opened up, and pretty much exploded in there. Did lose all the pedals in there. Like I said, this one did bounce out. Um, we weren't able to find it. It normally is just a solid slug when we do find it. So I do have one from a previous test that I'll throw in just so you guys can get an idea what it's looking like. And this one is the 135 grain. Same thing came in, exploded. Lost a lot of its uh, material here in that gel. Carried through quite a long ways until about the very end. And this one um, bounced off that first jug. Has a pretty good indentation right there. But that first one did go through two jugs and we lost it. But major, major damage coming through to that gel. So let's see what that round looks like. All right, check this thing out. This one got some major expansion on there. And it peeled so far back that it did lose its jacket. It basically uh, flattened that jacket out. There's no way it was gonna be able to hold that uh, lead core in there anymore. We did uh, have a few fragments right here. There's a ton in the gel left, but uh, there was a few that actually made it through. Here's the core of that round. Huge mushroom. Peeled all the way back till it couldn't anymore. And shed that jacket, but it is a pretty, uh, pretty uh, big round still. Not a lot of weight retention left on it, but do get some pretty major expansion. And here's that copper jacket. Peeled all those petals off, most of them. Some of them did peel over, but a ton of damage to that round. So there it is from the back. And from the top one more time, but there we go. The only one we were able to find was that 135 grain. But man, did it do some damage. So there we go. That was 10 millimeter. 125 grain, which we don't have, versus 135 grain. There we go. All right, here's that cross section for that 125 grain. We've got some major damage coming in on this gel. Huge split. So I did remeasure them. And uh, from edge to edge, we are three and three quarter inches. So tons and tons of damage on that. 
a little bit wider than uh, whenever the block was actually together. We were able to see a little bit more of those tracks, so that is really, really big stretch cavity on that one. So let's cut it open. All right, so here's the right side. This is the left side, and once again, you can tell some major, major damage. So it came in right there, opened up, and basically exploded. It did drag a little bit of that cotton t-shirt in there, but we have a massive wound channel all the way through. Huge splits and cuts and some nasty stuff down in there. So even though that thing did come apart on its way through, it was creating a ton of damage. But really big splits down in this gel. Like right there is just nasty. And it was traveling over 1600 feet per second, so there's definitely some uh, pretty fast stuff right there. But there we go, that was that 125 grain solid copper hollow point. Forgot to mention, we do have uh, the petals that came off, they were in the gel. We did lose the slug, but the petals are left behind, so pretty good. All right, and here's that 135 stretch cavity. So just like the last one, I did measure this one, and from edge to edge, we are four inches. So we got some major damage in here too, and this one fragmented like crazy. Definitely came in like a rifle round and just exploded. Huge star pattern going all the way through. It uh, wasn't as fast as that last one, but because it was uh, lead and not solid copper, it did. It came in and just blew up. So we got some major damage right here in this uh, cross section. So let's, let's uh, cut it open. All right, before we cut it open, just wanted to show you this is the top. It actually did blow out. I guess we didn't notice it while uh, I was out there on the range, but we did have a blowout here in the top, and there's a ton of fragments in there. So now let's see the inside. All right, here's after being cut. This is the right side. This is the left side. And... Check that out. That is insane. So it came in, and this one really did blow up as a huge little crater. It just kind of blew out all that gel and really messed that stuff up. It did drag in a little bit of that cotton t-shirt, not too much, but we got some major cuts down in there. Super deep. And uh, we do have a lot of fragments, too. But major cutting. Here's the other side. You can really tell, too. came in. It literally just blew up. It's a huge little uh, valley right there. There's a lot of t-shirt down in there. Check out the damage on that. That one literally is like a rifle round. Came in and exploded. There's still quite a bit of uh, lead fragments in this side. But major stretch cavity all the way through. It's insane. So that one was really doing some damage. Was a little bit slower in that solid copper round, but still. The way it came apart just really did a number on this gel. There's a little bit different angle. You can see right as soon as it came in, just basically came apart. There we go, there was that 135 grain, and this one actually did have quite a few fragments too. I haven't pulled them all out yet, but we'll see here at the end with all the pictures.